Huh? Huh? Oh. Let's approach. Okay, nothing. Nothing back through there. Let's. Oh, I get the hiccups all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Single player only. Okay, this is the way in. Oh, check out that. Check out that mountain in the background. It's like smoke coming off the top of it. All right, we'll get to that one. Encounter started. A potion recipe. You must have it. For that recipe, will solve a perplexing conundrum. Ugh. You will need to use your potion brewing knowledge to find it. That much you are certain. You were told not to enter this condem condemned place, but all clues point here as the location. Use these to investigate anything around you. So is this like a point-and-click adventure game? Like if I inspect... inspect the wheat? No. <laughs> Absolutely nothing happens. <laughs> okay. Inspect the door. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was because the last adventure was broken and I needed to fix it. Oh, no. Uh, okay, I can't go through there. So, how do I inspect? Inspect the door. I can't go in there. That's cheating. Uh... Inspect the hedge. What do I do? Use these to investigate anything around you. Okay. Uh... Investigate the window. Oh. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is happening? If I right click, one of them quickly turns into quickly turns into a map. Oh, look at that! Seems like the door is locked. You should be able to find a key somewhere nearby. So if I right-click one of these in the correct square, you find a key hidden in the bushes. If you right-click, it creates a map. And then there's some redstone that detects that you are carrying a map. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Let's inspect the stairway. Nothing. Let's inspect the enchanting table. The oil from these nuts forms a sort of paste with the thick potion odd. Okay, I that was This is such a great idea for a mechanic. Oh, I should put those up there. Yeah, there's nothing up on the top floor. What are these spider webs? Oh, look at that volcano. There's like a... Some sort of village down there. Okay. Nothing on these stairs. Nothing here. The burnt ashes in this portion, potion must be mixed with the oils of a particular nut to be drinkable. The bitterness of the sharp potion seems to disappear when mixed with the pulpy powder.
each mi oh this is a book hold on those were books okay each mixture should have three potions and each one must be different don't repeat any potions is that a broken couch oh it is a broken couch here's a dead bush looks thirsty the dead plant shows how long this house has been vacant such a strange mirror <gasps> oh my gosh look at that that's the plant when it was alive this is the couch when it was new the skull oh my gosh this one's awesome pour the cauldron by potion oh pour the potion into the cauldron by drinking the potion next to the cauldron book the dangerous pulp in this potion dissolves in the sharp potion making it safe to drink burnt thick and nutty stale bread an old furnace doesn't look like it works anymore there's still some bread left over too thick bizarre when you take a potion from here it reappears pulpy burnt and thick thick nutty and burnt I need pulpy what just happened I need a pulpy I don't need a burnt or a thick I got kicked out of the UI there's a sharp burnt thick nutty pulpy and sharp There's a thick, there's a burnt, there's a burnt, there's a pulpy. Okay, I think are all those are the only kinds, right? Yeah, okay. Now, the first book said the oil from these nuts form a sort of paste with the thick potion. Odd. Okay, so nutty and thick. Nutty and thick. There's nutty and thick. You should be able to mix the potions from that potion stand together. Perhaps the bookshelves nearby have clues. Pour the potion into the cauldron by drinking it next to the cauldron. I did that. What did I get? I just got water bottles. Oh. Hmm. Not any sharp, thick. Okay. The burnt ashes in this potion must be mixed with the oils of a particular nut. So burnt and nut. Mm is what I need. Burnt and not, okay? There's burnt, there's burnt and not. And I got something for it. Teleportation it requires a mirror to work properly. Okay, let's go try that. This is pretty cool. This stuff works like in certain positions. You drink the liquid, you feel like the liquid as you seem to teleport through the mirror. You drink the potion and you feel stronger somehow. You have a brilliant idea to smash through the mirror. You phase right through it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to inspect the couch. Inspect mm -hmm. this bookcase here. Go back. Return from where you came. Okay. Who goes there? What do you want? Wait, you look familiar somehow. You couldn't be... No. Oh, it's me carrying paper. 
Perhaps I have a solution. Huh? You look just like me. Oh, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for your ramblings. Okay, so how do I get back? How do I get back through the mirror? Because I no longer have... I no longer have a, the potion. Okay, well, let's do... Perhaps I have a solution. Hmm. Okay. Um. Huh? You look just like me. Bizarre. I suppose that you are me, but from another dimension. This can't lead to any positive outcome. I think I have a solution. Hmm. I don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somehow, an alternate self... Wait. You toss the potions aside and begin grappling with the creature. Oh, I didn't want to grapple with myself. The creature reaches behind him, and somehow an alternate self found you. Somehow you were able to defeat him. The prophecy. It said that someone would come. You didn't expect to have to kill that someone. But when someone comes and darts toward you with the anger and hatred in his eyes, he might be dead, but another will come. That much is clear. Such is the way of the prophecy. You are not meant to hinder its progression. Another chant, another shall be chosen. Oh, man, R30 Hedron, that was good. I, I, whoa, the inspection mechanic was good. The potion mechanic was good. The dialogue was a little bit confusing because I didn't get to actually do what I wanted. But R30 Hedron's the potion haunt. Very good. Oh, man, these are, these are just excellent. So let's head to the next one. And I feel like I'm taking a path around the back, and it's going to lead back to the street. So, oh man, look at this. Jig, you put this in such a good place. It looks fantastic with the dead trees leading up to it. Oh, look at that. It's so familiar. What do we got around here? Yep, yep, yeah, buddy. Let's check it out. We know what this one is. The villagers finally let you in, but they don't seem to speak your language. Better find the village leader and give him the conjured peace offering. Qua Magnet. Oh, he wants water. He's very thirsty. He would give gladly give emeralds for water. Look at all the heads up on the spikes. That's not good. Mama Jagaz. She's also very thirsty. She'd give her nether star. Anise Tufts is thirsty. Oh, Chief Bortswax. Here, this is the peace offering. Downfall. This is my backstory. Oh, let's read my backstory, shall we? Oh, I just realized how appropriate the skin now is. In a far-off land of Rimidolv, a remote village cowers under the shadow of Mount Fawm. A great plume of ash billows forth, and the land suffers severe drought. The Mage Council of Aranev has entrusted you, an apprentice mage, with the task of evacuating the people from the threat of imminent eruption. But what if you could save the village instead of evacuating? High Mage Felonius would have no choice but to grant you full title. Not even the renowned elf mage Texel could claim to be powerful enough to quiet a volcano. You would even earn the right to bond with a familiar, a bunny, or even a Nurgle. Your mind made up, you approach the village, noting that the gates have been pulled tight in fear. Using your powers of conjuration, you summon forth an ingot of purest gold and offer it as a gift to gain entry. The inhabitants do not speak your language, but using your wits, you devise a way to communicate with their chief by tapping a series of of short and long beats on the arm of his throne. Thus armed with language and conjuration, you are ready to begin what may be your finest moment. Can you save the village? Why, yes I can. I can clearly save this village. Ooh, what's over here? A stick. Is there any use for a stick? What is this? It's like a little cave. Nothing there. There's a bed. 
Or a fishing rod. We can have some fun with that. Feathers, arrows. Should we do some... Maybe is there a fishing puzzle? Is there a secret fishing puzzle somewhere? No? Alright, it said I was supposed to tap on the... What's this? Oh my gosh, look how easily distracted I am. Another chest. A saddle and rotten flesh. Whoa. Oh, this looks cool. Look at these, like, thorny things coming out. Oh. So. Wait. So? Tenerb and Sire. <laughs> I get it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Piggerbomb. <laughs> oh, whoever made this one's very, very funny. Too hot. Big thirsty dead. Mage Arsmalik, make come rain. Oh, what are my instructions again? Conjure the right spell component and place it at the base of the totem pole to make the magic work. So I conjured a snowball. Is this the totem pole? It begins to snow. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, look at this! Oh, that's cool. Okay, that was the overcast sky. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. I hope you play this map. How did I do, Chief? No, no. Too cold. Cold. Kill crops. Make warmer. Oh, you want me to make it warmer? Okay, I'll put this blaze powder in. That should warm it up a bit. Overcast sky. A light drizzle begins to mix with the snow. What? Oh, that's how... Oh. Wow. Okay, how did I do now, Chief? Good rain. More rain, Major Smalek. Okay, Redstone usually speeds up the process. He wants a little bit more rain than that. Let's give him a little more rain. How did I do now? <gasps> the drizzle becomes a downpour. Oh my goodness. That's not going to be really good. <gasps> Whoops. I just wiped out the crops. Uh, oh. Oh, and I put out the fire. Oh, no. Chief, I'm very sorry. Uh, too much flood. Drown crops. Drown village. What you do? I didn't do anything. Wait, I'll, I'll use the drying agent of this bone to, um, to dry up the clouds. Yes, that's what I'll do. A bone. Uh-oh. It begins raining cats and dogs. Oh, no. Thunder pup. Thunder pup. Oh, no. Um, Chief, I'm sorry there are dogs in your village now. <gasps> what? Stormpaw. And Sky something. Skydiver. Oh my gosh, this is terrible, Chief. Oh, Chief, I'm sorry. This is terrible, Major Smaley. Blow away the clouds. Yes, I'll use gunpowder to blow away those clouds. That will stop all of this from happening. That's a great idea. Oh, wait. Wait, gunpowder made... What? Oh, fire and brimstone are coming down in the village. What? Oh my gosh, the village is... Chief, I'm sorry. How can I fix this? Evil Mage Arsmalik, you destroy village. Guards, get Mage Arsmalik. Oh. Oh, man. I... I... I'm... I really screwed up that one. I feel... I feel like a... a real incompetent mage now. Let's move on.